Hello! My Kobo Clara HD has finally arrived. The reason why I bought it is because that I was reading physical books and also reading on my iPad for quite a while. But with COVID-19, I could not go out to borrow books. And so I started to read on my iPad quite a lot. And I felt that it kind of strained my eyes, and especially at night. What I want to have is for a device that allow me to still borrow from my local library, and that is via the OverDrive app that can allow me to off the backlight so that my eyes are not strained. And it would be even better if I can bring my library along with me wherever I go. And so, Kobo is able to fit my needs. And this is the video. This is the box where it first came. And this is the Kobo tablet. This is the quick start guide. Mainly there's two instructions. First is to power on, second to ensure you have internet connection. And this is the micro USB. Let's put this away. And this get it started up. The first thing you do is to select your language and to sign over Wi-Fi. And obviously, it's a bit hard to press during the startup, regardless whether you take out the protective layer or not. And yes, finally, I got it to the scanning of the networks. Right, after I connect to the internet, and this is what we see, let's take a quick tour. And from now onward, it is my issue that I forgot to take out the protective layer, which made it really hard to press. After you connect to your internet, make sure that you take out the protective layer. So this is something that I learned. Let's go on to OverDrive, one of the reasons why I bought this Kobo. Okay, I need to find the public library near to me. Somehow they are able to know which library is near to my house, which I find a bit disturbing. And this is where I sign in the user ID. I'm ready to browse over Drive app, and this is the FAQ. After which, at one point, they will ask you to update the software. And you can access OverDrive as per normal, and it will load whatever loans that you currently have. All right, next, I want to show you how do you transfer the books from your laptop. Firstly, you connect to a laptop. I use Calibre. If you are using Calibre, you can see that it recognizes that it's a device connected that you can send to a device. I just select send to a device and send it to the main memory. Okay, and it's done.
I also subsequently transferred more books and you can see there's a lot of books that I have. Lastly, I want to show you how does it look like when you are reading a book and what you can adjust, meaning what are the functions that you have. Press anywhere at the screen, you will open the function where you can adjust the brightness, which I put it to zero. I don't want to have any backlight. You can also adjust the font, the size, the line spacing, the margin, and also the justification. You can also see where you are in this chapter and where you are within the book itself. You can see your progress in the book at the bottom of the page as well. One thing that's very useful is the dictionary. If you do not know any words, you just long press on it, it will show the dictionary and you can add note to it. You can also highlight any words or any phrase. When you turn to another page and you turn back, the highlight is still there. I find that very, that's very useful. So this is what I have for you today. Hope that it is helpful for you to decide if Kobo is for you or if you are a new user, how do you set up? Goodbye and see you again.